This is Don DiBartolo, a senior commodities broker and market strategist with Daniels Trading in Chicago. I'm also the trader behind the Trade Spotlight Advisory Service. Trade Spotlight's broken into three segments Trade Spotlight Futures, Trade Spotlight Commodity Options, and Trade Spotlight Futures Spreads. This is Beyond the Spotlight, a weekly video that will spotlight two or three markets that may become trading opportunities for this week, beginning with Monday, April 27th, 2020. Please pause the video and read the disclosures so that you understand the risks involved with futures and commodity options trading. Quick look at what the advisory service looks like. It's sent directly into your inbox. You have a timestamp so you know when the trade recommendation was sent out, uh, a write-up of the details behind the trade idea, the precise entry and exit orders so you know the risk-reward parameters for each trade any pertinent information like margin requirements and a chart that you can expand to take a look at the trade recommendation. For this week's video, I want to focus on the uh, currencies, you know, the S&P, crude oil, gold, uh, some of the other physical commodities are hot topics right now, but I think there are opportunities in the currencies as well. So I'd like to focus on three, of course, starting with the uh, June 2020 dollar index, uh, the basis for most of the commodities we're trading. So let's take a look at this chart. When this uh, coronavirus pandemic uh, really began, we had the dollar trading below 95 and then had that massive rally trading all the way up to just, just about 104, that uh, contract high 103.96 from March 23rd. Uh, then we had a sell-off back below the 50% Fibonacci retracement of this rally. And you can see the market is trading sideways. It's, it's a, within this channel formation and sitting right on a 20-day moving average, which is at 99.948. So looking for an opportunity to trade this market in either direction out of this consolidation pattern. I believe if it breaks this consolidation pattern, we can trade either to test the news highs or go back and test the lows. Uh, right now, this is the momentum. It's to the downside. This is the stochastic indicator. Right now, the trend indicator, a, a MACD, is flat, which makes sense for a sideways trading market. Same with the moving averages. I have a 20-day, a 50-day, and a 200-day moving average, and they're all flat at this moment. So watching for an opportunity to trade in either direction. Another opportunity could be in option contracts with a, a straddle uh, position. Next chart I want to take a look at is the June 2020 euro currency. On this chart, I have a inverted head and shoulders formation. The head being the 12-month contract low. That low price is 106.71. Then you had the left and right shoulder that was just formed uh, last week on this session low uh, that comes in at 107.39. See, I, I drew off a downward sloping trend line. Uh, typically, you have a, a uh, neckline here that's a, a little less steep. Uh, this one, though, with all the volatility, we've had big trading ranges with this sell-off in the middle of March. Uh, it's pretty pretty sharp. So a breakout of that trend line might not be enough confirmation. Right now, the MACD, a trend indicator, is rising, and the stochastic indicator, a momentum indicator, is showing upside build in momentum. The 20-day moving average is pointed down, so perhaps I don't want to buy on a break of this trend line just yet, maybe a close above it, or a close above some of these recent highs. We need more confirmation that the market is heading to the upside. Uh, right now, the uh, the stop loss would be placed below the session lows. Uh, I believe placing below the 12-month contract low would just be too much risk to take on unless we looked at an option position with a, a bull call spread or outright calls in this market. Okay, moving on to the third chart today. This is the June 2020 Canadian dollar. I have a one, two, three bottom formation. This is a trend reversal formation. So the number one point is the 12-month contract low. That comes in at 6820. 
uh, market traded up to set the number two point right here. Uh, that high is from the 13th of April at 72.24 half. And then a small sell off down to this level here, which I also set at a trend line at 70.12 from April 21st. Now the market has traded somewhat uh, higher, although albeit it's, it's pretty flat right now. You can see the MACD indicator or trend indicator is flat. So with this formation, this is a trend reversal formation. We're looking for the trend to head higher. That may not occur until we take out this number two point. Though I'm looking at this pivot point here as well uh, for a potential uh, breakout to the upside if this momentum stays strong. This is the, the stochastic indicator showing strong momentum. You have a flat 20-day moving average, a lower 50-day moving average. A crossover of these two averages is a bullish signal as well. So keep an eye on that for a potential upside entry in the June 2020 Canadian dollar. If you have any questions on any of the charts I discussed today or just the markets in general, trading in general, feel free to reach out. It's my local international number, cell phone, which you can also text, and toll-free number. You can always email me at tradespotlight at danielstrading.com. If you're not yet a subscriber to the Trade Spotlight, uh, go to the Daniels Trading webpage, click on the Advisories tab, and go down to Technical Analysis where you'd find Trade Spotlight. You can see a write-up, recent posts, and you can subscribe to the Trade Spotlight. Thanks for taking the time listening. I hope you, you your family, your friends, everyone's uh, well and staying safe, and happy trading.